Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits today, joined by Brit of Hanno Mices, drinking more UK beer, this time from Mills. And this is a beer that we pulled out from the cellar, and we're popping today. It's yes. been in the cellar for a year? Yeah. Yeah. So, Brett got two bottles of this, and he saved one to share with me. Thank you, Brett. I got one bottle. You already got one? Yeah. You said you already had it. Yeah, but that was a bottle we shared oh, in okay. the company. Well, he got one bottle, and he was kind of <laughs> saving to share it with me, so yeah. thanks for that, bro. Yeah. Because uh, he knows I love the smoke. Yes. So uh, this is from Mills, and Mills is a uh, producer of, I guess you'd call it uh, English Wild Ales? Yeah, it's spontaneously, spontaneously fermented. Spontaneous fermented, like, it's, you know, yeah. they're trying to do lavish style beers. Yes. Uh, we're in the... In, and they, they are the highest rated brewery in the UK. They are? Okay. Yeah. They're based in Berkeley? Yeah, Berkeley. It, Berkeley? Berkeley? Yeah. So is that in... Do you know where that is? In it's in England. England. Okay. Do yeah. you know where? No. it's. No, a, I think it's no. a pretty small like uh, country side village or something. Okay. Um, but... Um, yeah. They're very highly regarded. Su super, like... All the releases sell out within minutes. Um, it's it's super hyped in the UK, and uh, as I just said, it's the highest rated brewery in the UK. Um, so yeah, and and people have been trading for this stuff all all over Europe, and um, luckily a few of the importers in Denmark got a few bottles a few months ago. But otherwise, it's uh, yeah, it's been very limited. So. Uh, my first yeah meals, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it i love funky beers and this just the idea of combining smoke and funky is uh yeah. okay with me so yes. this is a, a bottle of their Eile or isla brut or brut so isla brut i guess yeah. you call it and uh the cool thing about this beer is as it says here on the back that it's uh, a beer and or uh, also about their brewery that they make uh uh Beer with minimal modern intervention and they use local wild yeast cultures as an influence on the beer. So that's definitely, you know, the lambic inspiration. And this is a this beer is a blend of four barrels from three separate worts produced in March, May, and August of 2018. And uh, one of the brews was uh, fermented in two small Isla whiskey barrels. Yeah. So that's where you get all the peated whiskey malts. And then uh, the blend was re-fermented with golden caster sugar to make it champagne and like a blue beer. So like really effervescent. Mm -hmm. And you could see that when we popped this and poured it, like it yeah. was like, it was like bubbling up like a champagne. It's calmed down just see, now. But yeah, um, but if you look at the carbonation on the glass, you can see streams yeah. going up. But that's awesome. It looks great, by the way. Yeah. It looks like a Guza. Yes. I mean, it's a nice, hazy, golden yellow color. And it's got a, a very nice, substantial white head. A really nice, rocky white head. It looks very nice. Yes. I'm really excited about this. Yeah. The like, idea of either barrel aging in a beer like this is something that intrigues me. Yeah. A lot. Yes. Let's check it out. Ooh, oh. <laughs> yes. Mm. Do you know what it smells like? It smells like musty, smoky, cheesy, funky beer. Yeah. I'm getting blue cheese. I'm getting uh, tar. I'm getting ropey, smoky. They say maritime smoke. Yes. Yeah. Salinity, yeah, like uh, oceanic vibes that you get from smelling island. But I'm also getting like Absolutely really cheese. cheesy funk. It's yeah. so blue cheesy. It's blue cheese. And, um, yeah, but I love, like, it's like, like a really well-aged gorgonzola. Yeah. But I love, like, gorgonzola. It smells like amazing. gorgonzola, actually. It does. Yeah. It does. But it's and, and in, the best, vibes. in the best freaking way possible. Yeah, yeah. And there is, underneath, there is uh, lots of really nice uh, ripe stone fruit characters, like apricot, uh, especially apricot, actually, and maybe also some plums. Yeah, yeah but you, you easily smell the, the lambic inspired. Yes, 100%. Um, but man, this is so funky. But the cheesy funk compa uh, com combined with the... Uh, PD smoke is pretty fucking dope. Uh, it, it it really works. Yeah. Like you have to like blue cheese and you have to like like peat. But if you it's like one it, of it's one of the most unique beers done as well as on fucking the Euro dope. European market. Like <laughs> really my is. saliva glands right now are just bursting rays of juice. Like it's like 
like, no, please drink this. Like, it's, I really, <laughs> I really want to drink this. It's like, uh, just from smelling it alone. It's, uh, the, my saliva is just going fucking nuts. It's dripping through my teeth. And I don't think that's usually something you expect with a beer that smells like cheese and smoke <laughs> and apricots. But and I love, you know, these kind minerals of minerals beers. Salt yeah. And, yeah. Salinity. Yeah. It's like, it's definitely like a, a maritime, as they say, salinity, smoky, like uh, oceanic vibe, almost like uh, ropey, like tarry, almost like uh, think of like uh, being on wooden wharfs or something like that, like that yeah. old funky woody shipyard. smoky shipyard yeah. thing with yeah. like fruity funk and, but then also, and yeah, cheese, like stone fruity, but then blue cheese and. And oceanic like salt water and yeah, yeah ropey. Fuck, this smells yeah. right up my alley. Let's drink it, man. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing this. Cheers. Cheers. The effervescence <laughs> of champagne. Yeah. Fuck, that's delicious. Yeah. It's got balance. It's got smoke. It's got funk. And, but it's really champagne -y. It's yeah. so carbonated and it's really bone dry. But, but you know, it is so... I like, love it. The flavor is so vibrant because of the, the carbonation. I'm going to call it this already. This is the best wild ale I've ever had from the UK. Yeah. It is. It is such a new, unique twist on wild ales and it has the level of funk of a lambic. Yeah, like... I'm calling it right That's also what, what I was so impressed by when I had it. A year ago, it's it's like the depth of flavor. Oh God, that's so good. Because it's the the perp, ah. like it, you know, it has it tastes like a super duper well aged like three point ten yeah. goosey, but then with this, like so, authentically in in interpreted yeah Isla element. With these guys playing around with the smoke like this, I would love to see them do a similar thing, but with. Beach with smoked malt. Mm. So that's part of the grist in one of the sour beers. Because Cantillon tried to do something like that with their uh, Swansea, uh, that was a, <coughs> was a Rauchbeek. And that was all right, but I think it was too underplayed. Mm. Like, there was not enough of the smoke character. And I'm like, I'm just a smokehead. Like, anything peat or uh, beach with smoke, whatever, uh, <coughs> oak smoke, if you could play with applewood smoke, if peach would smoke, whatever, like barbecues. I'm all for it because yeah. I think it brings an awesome depth to beer and, mm -hmm. and, and it you can play so because smoke character isn't just smoke it's just so different from what kind of uh, you know wood or in this case uh, uh, peat uh, that you smoke the wood uh, the, the malts over it gives unique and different characters in this case it's not the malt sorry it's the barrel but you can play around with it. And I think it's it's like, it's undiscovered territory right now. Mm. There's not many people doing that. People are still like playing around with fun things, of course, but not many people are playing that much around with smoke. And I think it's because it's a niche market. Mm. But when you nail it like this, which is fucking nailed, you can hit something really beautiful. And it's almost like you took a, a lambic crossing with a champagne and with Isla whiskey vibes. Like it's cause it's so effervescent, carbonated, bone dry, crisp. I love these kind of things. Like I love dry beers. Like I'm so sick of under attenuated sweet beer. This is effervescent, dry, complex, funky, and smoky. I think it's really fucking cool. It's really like, cool. At, at, you know what it does is an exceptional beer. Because mm. it's just, you taste all the, this like the, the really like vibrant fruit character of like, yeah, um, of like plums and and uh, apricot and and this also almost like gooseberry yeah. kind of character underneath, like all this like vibrant fruit character, and then it has that old like ropey shipyard kind of smoky yeah. character and like and cheesy, wooden, fun. cheesy barrel, no, no and an old barrel, and then this. Blue cheese, gorgonzola esque yeah. funk on, yeah. on, on top of it. It's I think just the funk on this unique, could be mix. Yeah, I think the funk on this though could be too much for some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's so cheesy. Yeah. But my level of uh, enjoyment in terms of funk and <laughs> it smells and, and so and much like gorgonzola. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> but but my my enjoyment of funkiness like this is just I I actually really dig it. I don't know, but I also love funky cheese and I love like dry aged meats and stuff like that, which is also kind of funky flavors. 
<clears throat> so it makes sense that I'd enjoy something like this. But it's so cool. And the combination of, as you said, like stone fruity and, and, and like um, just like these like pronounced fruity flavors that you get from a, a really cool wild ale with the smoke works fairly well. And I just feel like everything is so distinct, you know, mm. nothing's like, oh, it's a bit, you know, one uh, note or yeah, one yeah, yeah. Or... There's nothing that's like everything uh, is really slightly smeared out. in flavor. Everything is so precise and and distinct in flavor. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's and it's it, and it carries on and it's perfectly well balanced between acidity yeah. and dryness and and it's it's, it's yeah. It, you can only do this if you're a fucking talented brewer. Yes, <laughs> and like it has like the the dryness on it is almost like. It, I don't know if they're, they're, I'm guessing there's some tannins from wood as well, because there's something that squeezes the cheeks a little bit, that's not just dryness. But I really dig that as well. And I love the, just the combination of like, it's like, it's like a beer that goes, that like when you take a sip, it takes you on kind of like a thrill ride, because there's just so many new, like, whoa, what's going on here, mm. like experiences, like it's, it's really cool. I'm also getting a bit of like a, a chamomile hmm? thing, like, do you see that? I think it has, yeah, I don't know if that's like a hop character thing or whatever it is. I think it's also like a, smoked uh, chamomile or something. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Do you want to know a really weird tasting note or just a Roma note maybe more so? Mm -hmm. The combination of cheesy funk and smoke almost reminds me of going to the zoo. Yeah, going like to elephants. like <laughs> elephant cage. <laughs> I was exactly, I was exactly thinking elephant cage. If you go to Alba Zoo to the elephant cage, it has this musty funk. Yeah. going in there it's almost like a <laughs> touch of that well yeah like, it reminds me more of gorgonzola i would say more gorgonzola than, than but there is but yeah it's fuck man this is yeah. the most stupid tasting notes ever but it's like this is acquired taste beverages and, and it's a very 100%. different you know it, it's like, a it's a very unique beer yeah and, i fucking and, love this and i totally get why some are turned off by it but i think mm -hmm. To me, like the first time I had it, it was more intense on the smoke than it is now. And I feel like now it has like opened up yeah. into like a really okay. wide array of super duper complex flavors. There's it's even beautiful. like beautiful, like the, the balance of acidity and stuff is just really nice. One point. Like fresh lemony and lemon test quality to it yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, but this is fucking great. And I think, again, this is also a beer where I blind would think it would be lambic because of the level of funkiness and everything. Um, and also how well balanced it yeah. is, you know. But this is just a beer like, don't be afraid of smoke. Smoke can give so many cool complexities. I mean, and it does in this. Hmm. Don't be afraid of using an Isla barrel. Don't be af afraid of smoke malt. Like, you can, if you know how to work the flavor, you, you can probably make something cool out of it in some styles. I mean, this is a bright, uplifting style with funk where Isla smoke suits it. So that just shows how versatile smoke can be. Yeah. I really hope it's something people will play more around with, with in, in beer. Yeah. Um, I fucking love this. I would love to drink this again. And this is 100% something that makes me think I need to drink more Mills. Mm. This is one of my favorite discoveries of this year. This well, um, I'm happy I could bring this it is, to you. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I, I you but this you is also this. <laughs> catering to me, man. I love heavy yeah. funk and I love smoke. Yeah, and dryness. And, and, and dryness. Know, and super and, complex and yeah. easy drinking. And yeah, you know, it's crazy that it's 9% actually. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to fucking drop the bomb and go 97 on this, I think. Yeah, I'm, I was thinking like a really strong 96. Because like last time I was thinking, I was... I gave it gave it a ninety five, and yeah. I think it has improved. Since. I don't think I've had a, a funky sour beer that's incorporated uh, smoke in any way. If it was like no. it's there's not a lot of it, but I don't think I've had anything where it's incorporated this well and cohesively. No, and it's just like it's wonderful. If you're a peat head or a smoke head, uh, in in terms of flavor, or if like, you just like appreciate it, like it, extreme, yeah crazy balance of, of very yeah, I mean, out there flavors that somehow work together. This is a beer where you it's, think outside of the box. Yeah. You're not doing what everyone else is doing. It's like, let's do our own thing. Let's try something and see what we can make with it. And by the and way, I it also has that. umami. I applaud that. It has this almost yes, like oyster. Salinity. Oyster. Yeah, good point. Umami. Yeah. It does have umami. Just yeah. like the salinity, you can feel it on your lips. Yeah. It's it's very unique. Oyster yeah, blue maybe blue even like a small ninety seven. It's I feel like it's a small hidden like masterpiece that is underappreciated because it's so 
Like nobody I'm, thinks of this. It's something where I'm really sad that this is the only bottle we have, and this is my will probably be the last time we ever. Do I think this. I can get one more. If you can get one more, then please <laughs> do it. Yeah. Because uh, I would like to drink this again. Yeah. Uh, wow, wonderful. This is uh, probably the best beer experience I've had from the UK in a very, very long time. Uh, not, not probably, it is. Yeah. yeah Closely I... followed by uh, Holy Goat. Yeah. That's also amazing stuff. Yeah, uh, wow, that was a masterpiece. If you guys had a chance to try Mills Eile Brue, let us know what you thought of it. Thanks a ton for sharing this, Brett. This was a, such a treat. Uh, man. Fucking wonderful. And as you said, 9%. This drinks like a 6 5% beer. And like the level of uh, complexity and balance is just yeah. uh, like you have to be an extremely talented brewer to do Especially this. Especially working with bugs <laughs> like this one. Fuck me. Yeah, it's not so, easy. yeah, if you had this one, let us know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And we're going to say yeah. cheers in some fabulous, fabulous beer. And see you guys in another beer. Cheers. Video.